So recording started. Welcome everyone to our Chaos DNI Working Group meeting on June 24. The agenda, we don't really have an agenda right now. I think my my thing is the uh, the metrics release and just kind of what's going on with that. Just talk through that a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, we can start there. I'm looking at the minutes from last week. If we had any action items, um, one of the things we talked about is how we wanted to promote the metrics release. Um, just as a comment, I'm talking with Eric, who is doing the Sustain Open Source podcast. Um, to get chaos metrics on it sometime during July before the release or August after the release. We still have to figure out the date. Okay. Is, okay, I'll write down. down. Um, uh, Eric Berry, and that's the Sustain Our Software podcast. When I can, I'll connect with uh, Kate. I'm not sure who's handling the media stuff now, but get it out on Twitter from the LF. Yep. And that shouldn't be too hard. But you're talking about when they're all done, right? Like after comment? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know whether to do it before we actually release it or after. I would say after. After, yeah. So in August, maybe before Chaos Con. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So release. Um, my one comment is, um, so obviously we're, <laughs> as you've seen, we're try we're really close to having all of the uh, different working groups have their metrics ready. <laughs> Little tiny bit of delay in a few, but um, and then my hope is is that tomorrow during Tuesday's community call that we'll just. We'll just put it out there one last time. If anybody has any final discussion, then do the comment, the release for comment um, on Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Yep. And then um, I think one of the things I'll talk about tomorrow is somebody in the somebody in the um, working group is going to have to kind of monitor the issues. Yep. So whomever that might be in DNI and, you know, all the other working groups. Um, so that, that, that was really kind of it. Somebody's just gonna have to watch that. And then I guess maybe the other thing kind of logistically is if we have these issues. So for example, I'm gonna go out of band with DNI for a second, but um, there's discussion about one of the risk metrics that Grimoire Lab has a visualization available. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so um, obviously that, that can be taken care of during the public comment period. Is it, would it make sense to just kind of say, hey, the issue is Grimoire Lab needs to be represented in the visualization part, or should somebody issue a pull request changing the document you see what i'm saying like should the i don't quite know yet so are we talking about the i metrics or risk metrics this was just an example in the risk metrics so let's say somebody takes a look at one of the dni metrics right and they post an issue they're like something's wrong whatever that thing might be right or i'd like you to include something whatever yeah. that might be 
Do we ask that person, whomever that person might be who opened the issue to issue a pull request as well? Or do we just say, okay, we'll, we'll take care of that. You know, we as a worker, worker. See what I'm saying? Oh, um, I see. So what's the workflow for yeah. handling feedback? Yeah. Good question. My instinct uh, says we can handle it case by case and lean towards doing the work ourselves to okay. make it as good an experience for whoever is commenting as possible. Okay, so if we can, so I mean, so in that case, like in the Grimoire Lab example, if somebody can just provide the visualization in the issue, yeah. then we can just handle it kind of behind the scenes. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I would actually prefer that because then we don't have issues and pull requests that people are required to do. But you're probably right. I mean, maybe some of it will become more obvious once we actually get some feedback. Okay, I'm going to write this in our document. Okay, and I'll probably just bring this up again tomorrow in the community call. Yep. For some reason, I won't see anybody video. Is that the same for yep. everybody? Yep. All videos turned off, it looks like. I can turn on my video. I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, was it the, oh, I guess if everybody is turned off, then it goes to a different screen. That's all. Yeah. Let's see. I see, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I get it. I didn't realize that either. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I don't usually turn my video on only because it's so choppy. Yeah. 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 We know the problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was really my only thing for D&I. Yeah. Uh, Kevin joined. Hey, Kevin. Do you have any uh, comments on the DNI metrics as they might have caused problems or issues um, preparing them for release? Uh, I don't. I don't believe so. I think uh, any any comments I have can probably be uh, part of the uh, comment release period. So, I mean, just the, the comments that I've noticed is, is generally just kind of handling all of the work groups. Each work group kind of does it a little bit differently. So during that comment period, I may, I may suggest that you change your titles in the detail page and the detail pages, things of that nature. But I don't have any specific comments about the, the release currently. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, thank you very much for preparing the prototype. Oh, yeah, totally agree. Thanks, Kevin. No problem. I mean, and it sounds like, I think, Kevin, I think you're just at this moment waiting on risk. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, DNI should be uh, done, completely evolution. done. And evolution's done. And common, I think, is done. Yeah. And so, anyway. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, Kevin, uh, on one of the issues, I commented that for the value working group, I think we should still include them um, okay. in the section at the bottom and link to the repository and say something to the effect of, um, while there are no metrics in this release, there are several being discussed. And then... Yep. Okay, yep, I, uh, I saw your comment, and I, I had actually uh, already created a... Uh, a value module, so I'll just go ahead and add that text in there. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. So um, this may already have been covered, uh, but I, so I may have missed it, but okay, so the <clears throat> we're announcing um, the metrics release internally on next week's call, um, and then we go into the comment period um, and announced through mailing list and Twitter. Okay, tw oh good, Twitter. So we can, so that's a broader, 
so I, I, I wanted to make sure that um, I wasn't out of school if I was, you know, if, if I posted to Twitter or communicated it more broadly once the internal announcement goes out. Yeah, so the plan is to have a one month review period before the release release. So this is a comment, but it's a public comment period. So I think it would be perfectly good if you promoted that we have metrics ready for release, waiting for feedback, and we're asking anyone to take a look and let us know their opinion. And then by August, at the end of July, beginning of August, we want to have the official release. Yep. Okay. I agree. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to talk about with regards to DNI metrics, but I think we've put so much effort in to getting the metrics ready over the last few weeks and it looks on track, we should just continue focusing on that and not open a new barrel. Agreed. Okay. So unless anyone else has something they want to talk about, we can all get back 40 minutes. I'm good. I think the main focus is metrics release. So, I, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. I, so, um, one of the things that I'm doing um, at Intel is to track some of the CFP closures and um, or call for session closures for some of the events coming up. And one of them that kind of hit my radar was um, OSS Europe. Is anyone planning on, or sorry, Open Source Summit Europe? Is anyone planning on going to Open Source Summit Europe? As far as I know, um, Dawn mentioned last week she, that she would be going. And it's that, a possibility that I'm going to go too. Okay. I'm wondering if we should submit. Um, I'm trying to, um, I think that closure was either July 1st or 2nd um, to, to submit abstracts. And I, I wondered if we should, if we either have already submitted for a DNI work group or if we should think about whether or not we'd like to submit. I don't think we have submitted anything yet. Um, do you have uh, time or want to take this um, to create an email, send it to the mailing list and say, hey, anyone going? And then have a Google Doc that we can work on. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'll, I will do that. Um, I, I'll likely be able to get to it today. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you, Nicole. That's, that's really good that you have that on your radar. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There are a couple on July. I, 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 um, when were they? Oh, here we go. Um, Open Source Summit Europe is July 1st. Um, one of the ones that Danielle and I often uh, keep an eye on is what used to be called the OpenStack Summit, um, and it is now Open Infrastructure Summit, and that closes July 2nd. And then um, the uh, KubeCon North America closes July 12th. So there are a few of them that are that are coming up. Um, uh, and actually, KubeCon, when we did the session at KubeCon uh, in Barcelona, 
um, that was where uh, Elle, um, who uh, I think signed on when I was off on vacation, um, but that's where we talked to her about participating in the, in the work group. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't think I'll be going to KubeCon. Um, okay, okay. But maybe we can discuss that again. Or you, maybe you can include it in your email saying, hey, these are other conferences coming up. Anyone else interested in submitting something yep. there? Cool. I will do that. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And then uh, for Europe, should we do the same again that you and I are doing for um, North America for the Open Source Summit Europe? Yeah, yeah. I just, I just thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it is okay for the summits that we have the same thing in North America and Europe. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Um, I've seen that before. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I can, uh, Georg, I can work on that one and just re resubmit for uh, uh, OSF Europe. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I still have the submission, um, the draft for the submission somewhere. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be super helpful. Yeah, otherwise, I know it's on the website. Cool, okay. And here, I found a document. And then I put it in the meeting minutes. Okay. I'm excited to be going to, I think this is my first, um, <laughs> my first chaos con in North America. I'm excited to be going to that. Yeah. 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 That's super awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be cool. Cool. Okay. Anything Great. else? We still have 33 minutes. I think, I think we're good though. So thank you everyone for joining today. Oh wait, Georg, I have one thing for you. Yes. It's out of bandwidth DNI and it won't take 33 minutes. Then let's turn off the recording and end the meeting and then we can sure. talk.